in the world. But once I pull out there on the track, I'm gonna throw my nuts over my shoulder, skinny pedal down, and I'm gonna let her eat like an Ethiopian orphan out there at the buffet line. I'll be toting that left front wheel like an astronaut bar coming around the damn corner, man. Let them know it ain't no bitch in my blood. We ain't leave the house. Put on my grand ass gun, swore out my sister, and sell off all these pain bills to come in second. I can be the coolest guy in the world. But once no, I pull out there. You hear what time it is. You hear the energy in the background. We're back again. Send politics. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, show some love, share this with a friend, share this with some family, anybody that likes politics, hip hop, sports. We get into all kinds of stuff on this channel uh, and we consistently bring it to you at least every Tuesday. And then every day we drop uh, the daily drops, but we are live with you every Tuesday and some Saturdays. I'm trying to make that a more consistent thing. I got my man Paul here today. Yo. Yes, Paul Balcom. Hi. Paul B. Balcom. Balcom B. Paul. Find him on Twitter. Find him on Instagram. It's that. I recommend the Twitter. The Twitter is a great follow. This man is hilarious and gets in arguments on the internet <laughs> religiously. Uh, <laughs> it helps the day go by. <laughs> these, By the way, these motherfuckers are on YouTube. I'm looking, up, I'm looking up at the screen right now and I'm not seeing that we're live. Well, and here, I'll bring it up. Are you live? Is it showing yeah. it on there? Let me. Yeah, let us know on YouTube if you're watching us. It's uh, on. It's on. It's on. It's on. Okay, we're live. Fresh. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, cool. That's good to know. Um, but yeah, we're in the building. Make sure you show some love. Hop in the comments. We're gonna have a bunch of discussions today. We're gonna talk about uh, Diddy. That stuff is crazy. Mm. Some of the people connected to that. Um, is it legit? Is there some kind of conspiracy happening? You know that has to come out anytime anybody's getting taken down for some crazy Ooh, shit like this. Whose uh, side is he on? Was he about to buy MSNBC? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got RFK. He selected a vice president. We're definitely going to get into that. It wasn't and Aaron Rodgers. It was not Aaron Rodgers. Do you know who it is? It's, or am I going to be a lawyer? You? Okay, so you know a little bit about it. Okay, cool. We're definitely going to be talking about that. And then uh, Drake and J Cole. Um, they're kind of they're in a pressure cooker right now. Kendrick Lamar, his verse that he dropped on uh, the Future and Metro Boomin album. Uh, we don't trust you, Cole. Uh, so we got a Kendrick Lamar verse on there. Very exciting. He went ahead. He, he chopped him down. He dissed, uh, he dissed the two other biggest hip hop, uh, names of this era. So, you know, we like to call it, they've been real. It's that big three thing has really been getting solidified recently in yeah. the media. So definitely um, the big three. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's definitely it's fair I, enough. I, yeah. I don't think, uh, anybody could argue with that. There's not really another person you could put in that conversation. They have kind of separated themselves in different ways. Um, so like, for example, Kendrick Lamar, somebody does, isn't gonna, uh, I'm not gonna say he's not gonna do fanfare because stuff like this is kind of his way of doing that, but he's built his audience based off of art, the artistry, the craft of hip hop, um, just like water. Yeah. Moments like this is where you kind of, where you get reminded how tapped in he is to the culture of hip hop, because this is really what it is. Competitive, I competitive music. Um, and yeah, yeah, but I mean, I'm excited to see what Drake and uh, J. Cole end up saying, but we'll get into that a little bit more here down the line. Um, another thing I wanted to go ahead and show to y'all, because some of these I have to hold, because like I said, YouTube is bullshitting with your boy. So uh, one of the reasons I was kind of, oh, it says there's people on there now. Damn yeah, bullies. yeah they're, being, they're being big dummies. They're being big dumb bullies. Uh, I want to go... I'll be honest, how many times have you wanted to do that? <laughs> I don't want to run anyone over ever. Not not even a may, uh, may, not even a motorcycle. No. List. May, may, maybe when you're sitting there and you're in a fucking line of 85 cars and you just see this bike just like walking by you, you want to open the door and be like, fuck off. Okay. Oh, dude, stay walking, here. Stay behind my door. Walking by you when you're gridlocked and they just go flying in oh, the middle of cars. Oh, that, oh that's bro. that's yeah, that's worse. I was trying to be yeah. polite. There's because, few like, people that piss me off on the road more than uh, motorcyclists. Yeah, I have safe bikers are my friends. The safe? other ones, yeah, yeah. I don't. I but don't the like thing it. is, it's be safe for you. You're the one fucking outside yeah, right now. I win that battle ten times out of ten. Ten times out of ten. Like you're yeah. never gonna, you're well, never gonna beat me in that battle. Well, you could both lose. Well, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's true. <laughs> there are times when it's uh, I don't know if you'd say a draw, <laughs> but yeah, they're not winning. They're yeah. not fucking winning. Look, Him look, or his fucking lady on the back seat. It, it's it's just like the people who drive cars around semis and big trucks and fucking. That's true. That's true. And it's like yeah. yeah. You're being an asshole for everybody else involved because yeah. that trucker is now probably having a fucking heart attack because he doesn't want to kill you, but you're going to fucking kill somebody, and yeah. then yourself, and then maybe the ricochet kills me. <laughs> okay, I will say, Bills, which you guys have seen on here a bunch of times, go follow his Twitter uh, Saturday night without the A. 
Yeah. You know, without the A. No A. <laughs> and no I, I believe. So, yeah, go check him out, though. Uh, great follow there as well. His Instagram is pretty crazy uh, from time to time. And, uh, uh, but yeah, no, his driving. I don't know if have you ever driven a car with no. Oh, my fucking God, bro. He's he has a death wish. I, I, I don't want to. I tell him, I'm like, bro, we're you know I, I have, have a family. family. I have a family. I want to live. Yeah, I drove one time. We drove down to Miami. Me, him, and Kent. And Kent literally was like, I'll never, ever, ever drive in the car with him driving ever again. Um, <laughs> and the whole time he was in the back seat. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> yeah. No, it was like that. I was trying to be a soldier for him. To be honest, it was scary. Um, but yeah, no, I man, he'll get he get right up it like behind a car uh-uh. and for me i have paranoia that they're gonna slam on their brakes and fucking sue me on purpose yep yeah my mom had a uh friend back in the day he told me about his father he said his father used to live off that literally driving around the city and just like you get too close behind them lawsuit Ooh, not working hey. this year hey yeah, you okay. know i i don't condone that but guess who just got a 12 month vacation at the same time you <laughs> know how many times i want to break check motherfuckers oh me, yeah me, sure. i get mad i start throwing my hands up so you can see like hey do you get like, emotional in the car, buddy? Like, 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 if if you want to handle this, we we can oh, shit. like like get off me, okay? Yeah. Because again, you're endangering everybody involved. Yeah. It's like, dude, we have a an obligation to get to our place safely. The people right behind you, that is some shit to to piss you yeah. off. It's yeah. like it's like, man, yeah. chill. Yeah. So, and again, it's like it's like, listen, I'm going 85 in the in the left lane trying to pass people. Let me pass them, yeah. and then I'm going to respectfully get over. And then you can do your 95, 100. Nice. You, you can fly. I'm their worst nightmare because I might stay in that left hand lane Ooh. and say, fuck them. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, honestly, and not even if it is fuck them, I might just do that disregardless. Like, you liberal uh, over here. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I always lean left. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, you know, I don't want to piss nobody yeah. off. Hey, well, I mean, for me, it's like, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to yeah. be the stand on somebody's day. It just, it you really know? depends. If it's a busy, I, like for me, I don't like to switch lanes like that. So yeah, if it's not necessary and you're in that much of a rush, go the fuck around me to the right. I, I do feel that though. Is, yeah. Again, if you're being an asshole, I'm not going to. Yeah. And I'm still I'm not going to move you being an asshole. Yeah, I'm still going fast. I'm like, yeah. bro, we're passing everybody. Yeah. Chill out. Yeah. Like, you I, have to go 100. I'm saving miles. you a ticket. There you go. There you go. It'll be you me. See? It'll be me that catch the, catches the brother. You see? Have you ever been pulled over with people? No. Okay. That would piss me off. I know a few people that's happened to. I've been pulled over when and told I was going to speed when I know that I had my, my cruise set at a yeah. different number. And I'm like, no way. And it's like, all right, well, that well, again, fair, 19, fair, I didn't know what, what I could fight, what I couldn't fight. But well, to be fair, though, you can, at least in cars I've had, you've been able to, you can go over the speed limit in cruise and still stay in cruise. It's just, you know, you can't hit your brake or anything like that. But um, so basically, if you have your cruise set at 80, you can speed up to 90 for whatever reason and then let go of the pedal and it'll bring you back down to 80 in my experience. So maybe, I don't know. Uh, you know you're probably right. You're probably right. You're probably right. Listen, <laughs> I say, I'm fuck never wrong. Cop. Fuck the police. You know what I mean? <laughs> whatever. Uh, no, no but brother, you never know. I mean, I will say some bikes. Uh, the, oh, oh, I wanted to say as far as getting pulled over, my woman, she got pulled over one time with like three or four different people. All of them pulled into this parking lot. That's couldn't be me because once some one person's pulling over, I'm like, that's them. They got them. Uh, uh, I would just assume. See him. <laughs> I guess I'm good. They pulled over the yeah. person. But yeah, one time she got pulled over. They all got tickets. I'm like, damn, that cop must have. He probably got a fucking standing ovation Buddy. when he came back. <laughs> Buddy, he, he he got three days off. <laughs> he, got a, he got a long. Yeah, weekend. though he hit his fucking quota. Uh, but I, I'm not gonna lie, with uh, motorcyclists, there has been a few times they've driven me. I'm not gonna say to the point to where my guy, this hero. <laughs> You know what I kind of wonder? Like, what if like it died that is attempted murder. Part of it, may, like part of this, makes me think he just wanted to get out of traffic, and he's like, "Well, fuck that! I'll ro- run them over." Yeah. <laughs> did, well, I feel like did did, did did the one guy yell like, "Get out of your car"? Oh, I don't say I didn't hear that, but that's possible. He is kind of like they are talking, so I'm I'm just kidding when I say that he's just trying to get out of traffic. Oh, oh yeah. Let's keep it out. Uh, he did I mean, the guy pulled they're a chasing, gun. Then yeah, well, they're chasing you now. Now you got all of them. Oh my ass. god, you're uh, done. You better go. You, you better. Go. You better now put those driving skills to the test. Yeah. Every every fucking second of Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Better come out right now. I hope you do it first person. I, I hope you're not. Uh, do you drive uh, home or, or to the police department? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, I mean, you're risking it. If they end up actually following you home, oh, you might get your house burned down. You're not. Yeah. Might. 
<laughs> you probably are going to get your house okay. burnt down. You're definitely going to have someone break into your house at night oh, and beat the fuck out of you in bed. Right, and rightfully I mean, so. yeah, right, yeah, right. Rightfully you, so. you try to kill, kill somebody. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, That's go good. straight to the police station. Okay. Run into it. Okay. <laughs> plead, plead insanity. Yeah. All right. No, exactly. Well, I mean, yeah, oh, hey, you're, hey, you're hey, going to the next level. You're saying hey, go in there and fucking confess. Hey, hey, li- hey listen. Hey, hey, in that moment, I was insane. I, I blacked out. Okay. Your you life, know, really. Hey, listen, if you're in Florida, Yes, I think it might fly. Yeah, it might fly. No, no, for real. That's a they, they deserve. They deserve what's coming to them. Yeah, yeah. For sure. But, but it's, it's tough with these videos. I mean, you shouldn't do that. It's tough with these videos though, because you never know when it was turned on. So when people are like, "Get out of your car," what was taking place before that? To escalate the situation to where now this person, you know, I mean, Dude, it, throw it, over it's not, that. that's what I'm saying. You can't really, you can't, uh, you can't excuse that, but you can look at the entire situation and say, you know, maybe there's more context here to where it's not, like I said, not excusable, but you could kind of understand a little bit better right. that this person might have genuinely been afraid for their life. I mean, they're surrounded by uh, motorcyclists. For some reason, they're telling them to get out of their car. I okay. don't have enough faith in a fucking motorcyclist to say that this person antagonized them in any way. They are fucking ready to have a problem with somebody. I, I feel like it. I feel, I feel I've been like, flipped I feel off like, by motorcyclists more than anybody. I feel, I've been I feel like there's already matches with motorcyclists. I feel like there's already a macho complex. It's kind of like exactly. it's like a jacked up truck. Where exactly. It's like, oh, look at me. Well, and there's probably is legitimately a uh, alcohol involved. Uh, well, a heightened level of anxiety and things mm. like that around they on a are, bike yeah they're oh outside. sure it's like, it's like when you get upset in the car that's actually it's normal because you're at a heightened level of like awareness and everything yeah so you're extra emotional like something happens for real they could kill you so you're like get the f- watch where the fuck you're going whatever yeah um so yeah for a motorcyclist i can't even imagine that experience yeah because why they, i would never be on one fuck no well no, yeah I'm like, I was, I, last week i was thinking about it but then i was like i think i'm just getting old yeah, like, i don't want to die i'm like let me think of shit (laughs) oh but no yeah for sure uh well i mean this is another example of uh ganging them outside so yeah those fast ass scooters yeah they're uh, gas powered that's scary that is like you're talking about like like one wrong like lean oh bro yeah, I had life. back in the day. I had these. Well, I didn't have them. My cousins had them. These electric scooters, and whenever we go over there, we'd all be riding on them and shit. Oh my god, so many times. I actually told because with my kid, I'm like, I will never ever do that because I can't believe my parents allowed that shit to happen. I was in third grade and I was on an electric scooter just riding around like the neighborhood. And there's many times, you know, just fucking around where it'd be like, Ugh! and then so, by the grace of God, straighten that fucking scooter out. Literally, by the grace of God, I have no fucking special right. driving abilities. Is it? But many, I never it's actually pain. wiped out. Yeah. Well, I mean, and they're d- dumbasses having those fucking vehicles and giving them to your fucking kids. I actually did have one of my cousins did end up flipping that shit, fucking his whole face up. I remember being there. He came back home. His family's freaking out. I mean, I'm not thinking this at the time. I'm thinking this now, though. Yeah, you give a fucking 15 year old a go kart. What the fuck do you think he's about to do with it? Yeah, he might have been younger than that. He might have been younger than that. And his friends again. again, It's fun. I I, I, like being from here. Oh fuck no! And also, also, this was New Jersey. It wasn't here. Yeah, well, well, being from here, like growing up, not now with with how fucking many people here, but but back when we when I was younger, it was uh. Like, like a rite of passage for a lot of people that like like that's what all you do you ride four wheelers dirt bikes uh yeah, the right go karts all that like way off about 17 all that shit and it's yeah. like and yeah i wasn't allowed to, to ride them i would with my friends yeah. like like at their house but almost every family i will say this almost every family that 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 we grew up with that had them in their family like 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 atvs and shit and mm-hmm. their kids would ride them at least one kid got injured seriously hurt severely hurt or or killed like it's not even like oh yeah like bro, like, bro i think there were like five kids growing up around and like like the pop warner organization like, yeah. like just around that like like you heard like oh my okay pass on like uh atvs yeah um and then the amount of people i know since, i mean 30 years old yeah, you, hold, you said just say he passed on an atv oh there were a few yeah like multiple, died multiple kids yeah <laughs> holy fuck yeah you said injuries no no no, no I, <laughs> I guess I'm, that counts I'm, I'm saying it goes all the way i mean there's a kid Ooh. who who again lived three like three streets away on his dad's dirt bike crazy. going down hit a park because like he lost control hit a parked van went through it and he then, went through and the then, van, dude. Ripped every t- like like ligament in the shoulder. Like was hanging on by one like little thread. He's still now. He's he survived. What? Holy! But shit. he can't use his arm. 
And it's like, it's like, dude, he was oh like 12, God. like 12 right. years well, old. I'm sorry. I got to show that. This isn't appropriate, no. but this is the best segue I could ever have for this. I'm sorry. So, you like, said, finish what you were saying, no, but yeah. I have a video no, for this. No, no, so, so it's like, it's like, I just, I don't know. Like, and then when motorcycles at 30 and I don't yeah. know like how many, you know, but like, yeah. I know a lot of people now that have passed away through motorcycle accidents. Yeah. And it's like, man, I just, it is it is. I I get yeah. it for something like oh, listen, I get like like wanting the the breeze. Yeah. It is fun. It is yeah. kind of like thrilling. Yeah. But man, it, it's dangerous, man. It's just something different, man. And, and then, tired of the same old, same old. Yeah, and then people don't don't take Make it, it seriously. home every day. So so like, if if you're a serious biker who takes it serious, I have no problem. Like oh, like oh, yeah, it, like enjoy your serious. life. Yeah, but a lot of you guys riding around like fucking dumbasses, expecting that we should just fucking roll out the red carpet on the road that we're all sharing yep. together. Fuck you, and actually pay attention to what you're doing. Right, and uh, yeah, get the fuck out the way. No, <laughs> and, no, and, and, and police your own. Like when you see yeah, jackass yeah. My, my bikers, fucking call them out. Like yeah. like police your own man, because they're only doing it to be cool. And and if and if everybody in their little group in in their group, I won't say little group. That that's kind of sending, but like 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 in their group, your little fucking club <laughs> that you have, yeah. <laughs> where you guys meet up at racetrack at eight thirty on oh, a Saturday man. morning, take no. the fucking nine of the bumps you fuck. <laughs> but yeah. but no, like like for real, if they all were like, hey man, like like we don't like, appreciate that. I'm pretty sure they they would like conform with their group. Oh, well, it's kind of it's kind of why they're like part of it at, at thirty eight. Well, at, le at least you would have. They would probably have some kind of like. uh you know, grace towards that person where uh, I think there's like an adversarial kind of relationship between the drivers of the road of cars and then motorcycle. At least that's what it seems like from their perspective. Right. I'm taking it there because this is how I personally feel out of my from my experience that fuck you guys. But um, I'm saying most people really don't feel like fuck you guys and don't want to hurt. And I don't want to hurt you guys either. But it's like I don't think that the adversarial kind of like nature comes from the side of the people that are driving cars. It comes from the people that are motorcyclists that are on edge and feel like people are dumbasses that drive cars. No, you are a dumbass. You're driving a fucking bicycle with a motor on it. What the fuck? You're stupid. Sit in the fucking chair. Sit in a chair, a fucking recliner in a car. Okay? We have those now. Like, come with, on. With cooling and heating seats. Jesus. Yeah. And the I, music. I, I hate when those motherfuckers are playing music lab, too. I'm oh. like, bro, come on. Do we all have... Like, that's really can, can you even hear it while you're driving literally no come on um that i will say no, uh, I, I will say yeah. i am shocked that honda accord actually was able to get up get and over it that was um, like yeah like not 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 to say something positive if you guys are but it just tuning in by honda no if like, you guys are like, just tuning in go back and see what we're talking about there was a honda accord that ran over two people in a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah and 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 and, and and yeah, I was, and, 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 got, and yeah. it's not a new one. It, it was a pretty like like early two thousands model. So I mean, and I want to say the motorcyclists, the, the motorcyclists were late to because you could have. It took them so gotten. long to get over the guy. You could have pulled the motherfucker out of the car. Although maybe you wanted them to get over your people completely before you went ahead and did that. You know, well, ho well hopefully car. nobody was killed in the process of that. You know, I don't. If anybody got killed, I'm sure it was a driver. <laughs> okay. I doubt that uh, what he did killed those people on the motorcycle, I imagine. But who knows? Who knows? Yeah, definitely could have. Um, oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, shit. Guys, this we just got hit by a Jeep, guys. That's how <laughs> Paul really fucking lived that. You live the life of that kind of Buddy, <laughs> your life flashed before your eyes. Whoa, Alyssa, Alyssa, I, I don't know. Call it whatever it is yeah. wrong with my brain, but I, I get like really immersed in what I watch. That I'm was watching. a 3D movie. And buddy, that here. was that was quick. Paul, is it okay if I, if anybody, what's good? I wonder, I think I might have hit a knob with the Oh, my God. 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 Yeah, and I'm going to also assume that when I first watched I was like, damn, they got hit by a car. But now I'm seeing that I think they hit a non-moving car, which still sucks. Um, I don't like it. Scooters <laughs> on the road, fuck no. And like I, I said, I already told you guys my whole story about scooters. Uh, it wasn't, um, yeah, I, I shouldn't have been there. <laughs>